This month's video is about dog barking. If you have a dog, especially the small ones, the smaller they are, the more they bark. Or if you're lucky enough to have two of them, the more you have, the more they amplify each other. And then I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. I try to mitigate the amount of barking they do by buying one of these little devices. It's got a microphone and an ultrasonic speaker in it. If it detects a barking noise, in theory, it's supposed to play an irritating sound. I never had much luck with it. Couldn't tell when it was going off or when the dogs didn't seem to hear it, so I upscaled it. I went and bought a few of my own ultrasonic speakers uh, from various places, and I drove them by an amplifier in that box, connected up to a D1 Mini, uh, much like the setup I showed last month with the automatic window opener. Uh, this is the amplifier that I got off of Amazon, and this is one of the uh, speakers that I got, fairly inexpensive. So one of the ways we have of triggering that irritating ultrasonic noise is via uh, manually, via a button on the box. So I'll demo here real quick. I guess I don't think you'll be able to hear it very well, but push the button, <laughs> irritating sound. But the normal way that's triggered is a little smarter than that. We use uh, Raspberry Pis scattered around the house that have microphones on them that detect uh, noise and act accordingly. So here's one of them. It's sitting next to uh, that D1 mini box that I used, showed you previously that controls the window opener. Um, on top of this Raspberry Pi is a fancy uh, directional four microphone array. Um, it works okay, but I don't think I'd recommend it. I think I'd stick with a simple USB setup. In terms of accuracy and detecting noise, they seem USB mics seem just as fine as that fancy directional mic. Uh, the second Pi I have is actually one I was using for displaying photos already, and I just repurposed it by plugging in this fancy Yeti microphone. It's just an expensive high-end microphone I wouldn't necessarily recommend for this purpose, but I had it sitting around, so we used it for that. Uh, what I, the microphone I'd really recommend is hiding up here. I have another Raspberry Pi driving that display for videos and photos. So we gave it an additional task, there's the Pi, uh, by adding this $30 USB microphone. It's quite a bit smaller footprint and uh, works, works great. I don't need a big fancy Yeti microphone for that directional microphone. So uh, that's how we collect the noise. Um, and that's how we would create the sound. The real magic is in how we distinguish barking from other noises. Uh, and that I think I'll defer for next month because that's a little bit longer topic. It involves um, machine learning. So that's the rage these days. I done it previously on analyzing videos um, or photos from the trail cameras. And now we're applying it to sound snippets in the house so we can dis uh, distinguish barking from other sounds. Uh, so if you're interested in uh, software machine learning uh, piece of this puzzle, um, come back next month and we'll show that in a little more detail. See you then.